Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. And this week, as you may have guessed from the intro, we are sponsored by the Germania Mint, who have sent the latest in the allegory series, the Italia and Germania, for us to have a good look at here today. A big thank you to the Germania Mint who have gifted this coin to me. So in aid of true openness and transparency, I aim to give an open and honest fair review of this round, not coin, I might well say coin a few times today, of this round here today. Any purchase decisions you make are in no way linked to financial success of my channel or anything. If you buy this coin from a dealer, we won't get anything from that. It's just nice to have some companies out there gift us things to showcase for you here on YouTube. So please do make up your own minds. And I'd love to know your opinions on it down below as we go throughout the video. So please do feel free to comment. So as always with the Germania Mint, they have done an exemplary job of packaging and pre presentation and just general production on these products there. Products do tend to be absolutely exquisite and this one is no exception. The whole package I really like. I love this black card that it comes in with the gold sort of gold gilded, I don't think it's real gold, but you know what I mean, gold foil emblem here of the Germania Mint double-headed eagle. It's just really elegant, it's really nice presentation and it's what you would kind of expect from a coin which is ultimately going to be an expensive premium coin that is worthy of it, worthy of those price points. You can see here some of the particulars. Uh, mintage of 25,000 for the one ounce versions. There are other size versions. I don't have any of those other sizes here to showcase for you here today, but there are two, five and 10 ounces and the only difference is the thickness of the rounds. Instead of going larger in diameter, the Germania Mint has elected with this series to go wider. So you've got the one ounce version here. You can only imagine the 10 ounce version sticking out to like here, probably, maybe a little bit further. It must look pretty cool. There is no doubt about that. So what is the series all about? The Allegories series is a depiction of basically nation's mother figures. So it's traditional throughout history that um, nations adopted a sort of female form, a female figure to sort of quintessentialize, is that a word? I don't know, to epitomize their kind of culture, their you know look and feel. And the Germania on the right here has her arm on Italia this time. And you can see there the absolute incredible level of detail that has been given to this particular design. It is rather elegant. So third in the series depicting Italia with Germania. Germania there with her hand on the shoulder depicting the friendship between the two nations. Uh, big, big fan of Italy myself. Uh, we have very strong ties to Italy uh, in my family and it's a country which I would more than happily go and make my second home or first home for that matter if that's a potential thing in the future. It, it really is. And, we actually used to live in Italy as, as a family very, very early on in my days. And I don't remember too much of it because I was very, very young when we left. But the few times that I've been back to the same spot that we used to live in, it feels like going home. It really does. So I'm a big fan of everything Italian. It's really nice. Uh, and this Italia depiction here is very elegant, very romantic with the kind of pedestal there next to it with the um, I'm not entirely sure what's that, what's in there. So it looks like uh, it's, you know sheaves of wheat and grapes. You know Italian traditional produce, the sort of Roman produce. Now the whole like theme of these allegories style pieces is it harks back to that kind of Roman Empire, Latin, um, you know sort of pan-European um, theme. You know sort of that that antiquated antiquities theme, I guess is what I'm saying. So there's very much that kind of look and feel to this, which I really, really like. So it's very, very well designed, very nicely done. Uh, and you can see the kind of, I like the nice radial pattern in the background that has been uh, followed through from previous iterations, the Britannia on the other side here, you can see there with, uh, with the Britannia being a little bit coy there, obviously all in the spirit of Brexit and everything, we're all still friends, aren't we? Germania seems to be knocking on the shoulder going, are we? Are we still friends? Anyway, Brexit aside, you know, the, the Britannia one there, really nice too. Britannia being a bit coy, Italy being a little bit more, you know, there we go. There's Italy. You just love it. And then on the opposite side, we have Colombia, which of course represents the United States or at very least the American continent of 
or the North American continent of America, I should say. So yeah, really good looking series. What's your favorite? I am, I'm kind of on the fence a little bit. I really like the Columbia one. Uh, my criticism of the Britannia was that I think that the pose that Britannia strikes is a little bit sort of tongue in cheek, a little bit cheeky, so to speak, and it's not for everybody's taste. Uh, I'm glad to kind of see that they haven't gone down that route with the Italia. It looks good. I think it looks elegant. I think it looks respectable. But I think my favourite by far has got to be the Columbia so far. The, the just absolute glorious detail on that dress that the Columbia is wearing, the flag behind it. It's kind of a shame that they haven't followed through the kind of flag theme because on this Columbia and Germania, you've got the flag theme with the Germania holding the flag behind as well. Uh, here, not so much. It's very much just the figures. There is that little play, I suppose, with the pedestal with the, uh, the food items on it. But ultimately, it's still a really nice piece, really nice uh, item to have. Made of four nines silver, as you can see up here. Uh, now, I haven't turned this round over yet. If we can just get that to focus. The light is a little bit odd here today. There we go. Four nines fine silver allegories series. Now, one of the best things about these rounds is the other side. The absolute incredible level of detail that is on these rounds is ridiculous, I think. It is wonderful, it is elegant, it is beautiful. It's the same design throughout for all of these particular rounds, as you can see on the Britannia and on the Columbia over here. Really, really elegant with the, with the sort of shield there, with the boar and the double-headed eagle and the sort of checkered set there. It, it is really pretty. And sometimes, you know, I have criticized mints and coins out there for the lackluster design on one or both sides. This you cannot in any way criticize any kind of lackluster in design. This is just out of the world wonderful. So really nice. Now, one of the big things about the Germania Mints products is that they are rounds, not coins. And I don't know how many times I've said coins mistakenly in this video. Please somebody keep a count down below and let me know at the end. Um, but you can see here there is a denomination of five marks there. And a lot of people get confused about that, saying that that makes it a coin, not a round. The mark is not a legal currency. Of course, euros are what the Germanic countries mostly use nowadays. Even, even that's not necessarily true. There are a few Germanic countries which don't. But the mark, the mark is no longer a currency. And there was never really just a, you know, it was always the Deutsch mark. Um, so that's not really a thing. And it's not a denominated currency, which means, and it's really important actually for this, it means that in the European Union and the United Kingdom, it's probably not really relevant to the United Kingdom anymore because we're out of the European Union. But for the European Union customers, it means that VAT is levied on these as they are not legal tender coins. Now, traditionally, in my previous videos, I've been quite critical of the Germania Mint for not following through and making it a coin. Because if they made it an official coin with a denomination on it, legal tender denomination, it would mean that we could have bought them from the European Union without taxes imported them to the UK. Now, of course, Brexit has happened and we don't have that option anymore, which means that the UK is now on a level playing field with the rest of Europe when it comes to these coins. So I personally think that they're more attractive now after the Brexit transition period has ended because when faced with an option now of buying bullion grade, you know, Britannias or whatever it might be out there at X price, X price plus VAT, you know, it does not look too appetizing and often now we'll buy from UK dealers. But if a UK dealer has this for sale, they theoretically should be the same price because they will be able to claim the VAT back when they import it from Europe and then they'll just charge the VAT at the end user so it'll be the same price. So for me, these are unaffected by Brexit in terms of their price point and I like that. I think that they are really good and if I hadn't been gifted this one by the Germania Mint, I would have gone out and I would have bought one, not for any other reason than to showcase it here on YouTube, but also because I love it and I think it looks really, really good. And for what it is, a premium coin with a limited mintage, with a really, really good buzz around it, I think it's a good shot chance of actually doing pretty well. And the Germania Mint products have continually impressed in their retention of value and indeed growth of premiums on certain items, certainly the limited mintage versions of some of their releases. So all things told, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 for the Germania Mint. I think everything about it is well done. I think the presentation, I think the uh, design, the look, the feel, the theme, everything about it is really nice. The price point for me is gonna be great. The you know, investability in it is has got potential for sure. Now, of course, that's not 
financial advice. I'm not going to rush out, tell you to rush out and buy, you know, 50 of them, but definitely worth looking at if you are a fan of interesting and different products that are, you know, going to hold value, I think, personally. That is just my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comment section. Now, if you want to know more about this particular design or the Germania Mint, I have put a link to the Germania Mint's website down in the description box so you can go and have a look at their entire range, all of their different products that they do. Uh, they've got a whole variety of stuff and they are very much hitting the road hard when it comes to marketing, of course, using YouTube and people here on YouTube to showcase products, but just generally they are a really, really good company to work with. I have had no issues with them. They don't retail, that's the thing. They do wholesale. If you're a business, you can certainly go and get in touch with them if you want to sell these as a business, but they don't sell to the consumer. So you would have to look to buy these from your favorite local coin dealer. But as I said, if you wanna find out more information about them and find out their official trading partners in various different countries, then all of that information is on their website and that's linked down below. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on the design of this, the uh, score that you would give it out of 10. As I said, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I think it is absolutely wonderful. And if you've enjoyed the video, put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media, especially if you like this sunshine coming in. Let's just have a look at some of these coins in the glorious sunshine, a rare thing at the moment in the UK. Oh, love it. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see videos like this into the future. And uh, otherwise, have a fantastic week. And we'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.